impact. Storm two is out. Storm three now in the uh, leading band of rainfall. This heaviest of the rain right now we're seeing over northern and central California and will continue to intensify into our area as we continue through the early morning commute through the afternoon and possibly seeing some even stronger storms developing later on this afternoon and through the evening. Let's get right to the maps and show you what's happened. Power starting to develop offshore and as they move onshore, they've been intensifying some very heavy rainfall being reported around Eureka from San Jose up to the Sacramento area. Meanwhile, we're continuing to see those clouds filling in across the San Joaquin Valley. With this southwest flow, it is tapping into some very warm, moist air coming in from the tropics. So as it moves further toward the north and east, we're starting to see that influx of moisture getting a little bit stronger at times. Right now, some of the heavier rainfall that we saw over the South Bay area within the last 15 to 30 minutes is now moving over central Los Angeles County. Norwalk Downey seeing some heavier pockets of rain around Orange County starting to see some of those showers around Newport Beach moving up toward the north towards Santa Ana Garden Grove area. Oxnard also seeing some heavier pockets of rain through the Santa Clarita Valley and as we move further toward the east the possibility of snow still in the forecast and heavy snow is expected through the afternoon. There you can see expected to clear out once again by tomorrow morning and then another round of rain headed our way for Thursday. I think we'll finally see a reprieve from that wet weather by late late Friday afternoon into the evening hours, but until then, we are in for some potential of flash flooding. Readings at this hour really struggling to warm up, only in the 50s right now in the Claremont area, but rainfall totals, although it doesn't look too impressive right now, within the next few hours, we are definitely going to be adding to this less than two-tenths of an inch of rain in most locations, with the exception of Oxnard, with half an inch of rain already being rec recorded there. The winds will also be an issue for today. As you take a look at the wind speeds right now, especially heading up through the grapevine, they've been anywhere between 20 up to 35 miles per hour. These are sustained winds. Expect these winds to peak later on today as the cold front continues to drop. The leading edge of the cold front is still offshore. You can see the leading band of rain beginning to push eastward. Some of the heaviest of the precipitation right now, some storms developing out there in the open waters right around Santa Barbara County, but they're starting to fill in. We're seeing some heavier storms now across eastern uh, L.A. County developing. Also, parts of San Fernando Valley, Burbank, just heard some thunder and lightning here in the studio. Glendale, you can see that particular storm system that moved overhead continuing to slide toward the north and east about 20, 30 miles per hour in that direction. Also, right now, Orange County getting a smattering of some showers, light to moderate. Like we saw yesterday, there is going to be the potential of seeing those severe thunderstorms popping up offshore. There's enough instability uh, in the atmosphere that we could be seeing some water spouts. And with those water spouts moving in a northeast direction, we could be seeing some weak tornadoes developing on land. So that's going to be something we monitor through the afternoon. The Inland Empire, these rain showers are going to continue to push toward the east. So within the next half hour or hour or so, the Inland Empire will be seeing some of those heavy downpours. But this is the cold front that will swing through later on tonight. Once we get through that particular front, we've got one more to go. Another powerful one, another colder one, colder than this one. This particular storm system could lower snow levels to around 3,000 feet by later on tonight. Flash flood watches remain in effect at mountain communities, the Inland Empire, coastals, coastal valleys of L.A. and Ventura County, two to four feet above the 6,500 foot level. High wind warnings also in effect. We're looking at damaging wind gusts between 75 up to 80 mile per hour winds. Now with some of the thunderstorms, though, we could be dealing with 45 to 65 mile per hour wind gusts. Wind advisories for the rest of the Southland. High surf advisory, as I mentioned, breakers between 15 to 20 feet.